Hi, we are Nat and Max, and we love exploring British Columbia. After finding a gorgeous camping spot by the lake on the previous vlog, we found the spot! We find ourselves in another beautiful lakeside campground in the heart of Squamish, BC. Hey guys! Welcome back to another camping episode. If you guys are just joining us, we started a camping series in our channel where we are going to be visiting some of British Columbia's beautiful parks and take you guys on a journey on the amateur campers that we are today. Oh me! I fell off the bed! Into the more experienced camper in the future. And today, we are here in beautiful Alice Lake Provincial Park in Squamish, BC. But before we got here, we did a little bit of a supply run this morning. So we just got all our last minute stuff from a local grocery store here. We didn't really anticipate that we were gonna go camping today. I was feeling a little bit under the weather during the week, but now I'm feeling better. And this was kind of a last minute decision. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Next up, camping ground. We're officially inside Alice Lake Provincial Park. It's just nice being in nature once again. It looks like the gatehouse is closed. Because the check-in is supposed to be 1 o'clock and it's already 3 o'clock right now. So we're looking for our spot. We are on W97 today. We found it! This is us! <laughs> Looks like this is it! We made it! So I think we're, we got pretty lucky because the walking site is just right here. And we're gonna explain to you guys what a walk-in site is later. But here's our parking lot, and here's our site. Are you doing scouting? <laughs> yes, for future camping. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that their walk-in sites are really spread out. It's very nice compared to other campgrounds where it looks like a parking lot that they are all together. So if you guys aren't familiar with a walk-in campsite, a walk-in campsite is a smaller type of a campsite where you won't be able to fit your car inside the vicinity. The idea is that you walk inside the campsite with all your stuff. This is pretty much all of our space. You will notice that it's small enough that we cannot fit our car in here. But we have enough space for our tent which we're going to put over there. We have a picnic table and a fire pit. If I was a In some lonely field way out west You would know just where to find me If I was a single grain of sand Washed up on some island in the sea One 
thing we always think about when setting up a tent is where we're going to face the door. Nat and I are kinda picky when it comes to views. We kinda like the idea that when we open the doors in the morning, we're going to love the view. So where do you think we're gonna put the door? I think facing this way. Yeah, so this is gonna be our view tomorrow morning. to be in the big tent again. <laughs> Since we have enough space in this campsite, we decided to bring the bigger tent because if you remember last camping, we were at Lizabay and there wasn't enough space, so we decided to use the smaller tent. But right now, I'm just happy to have this much space. So last time we asked you guys if you have any suggestion for camping for us, and you guys came back huge. There was a lot of responses. We really appreciate all of them and we're slowly trying to consider all the recommendations. And one of the highly recommended ones is this one. An air mattress. So this is a queen size double high air mattress. We got this in Facebook market so it's not brand new but the owner just used it once or twice. And this is what we got from Walmart earlier. This is a portable air pump, which we're gonna use on our air mattress. It's battery powered, but we kind of hit a bit of a snag earlier. We intended to buy the rechargeable batteries, but on checkout, we saw that we got the ones that came without batteries. But it's a good thing we came prepared because we brought batteries with us. Let's see if this is gonna work. might take a while. It's getting bigger. We're getting there. <laughs> it's becoming higher too. Look at this. One other tip that we got from you guys is the higher you get from the ground, the less colder it is. So I think this air mattress is gonna do us good. Is it done? I think so. Time to test the mattress. Uh, is this a queen size? Double size? Queen size. Come on, try it out. Oh, we have a air mattress now. <laughs> Why didn't we do this sooner? Because <laughs> we were noobs, amateurs. <laughs> It's starting to get colder, so Max is bundling up. I have two layers of jacket now. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're gonna do at the moment is check out the bathroom situation here. <laughs> Since it's a enclosed facility, you need a mask just to get into the washroom. How is it? It's really clean. Is it? It's always a privilege to have flush toilets when camping. <laughs> they even have two showers in it inside. How You're is right. it? It's so clean in there. Proper plumbing in the middle of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the main washroom. But I'm sure there's a lot of outhouses around the campground. And we're kind of lucky because the washroom is just right over there. We finally decided to buy a couple of $10 lawn chairs from Walmart just so we could sit by the fire and stay warm.
funny that we use wine glass for our coke. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a quick run to the nearest gas station for some more firewood. And here's a tip for you guys for camping. Know the operation hours of each campground because we initially thought that we could buy firewood from them, but they close at 7. So we're gonna have to go drive 10 minutes out to the nearest gas station and grab some more firewood. I think we got the last firewood from that cage. Meant to be. <laughs> ah, welcome to our home for the night. So we got our bed over here and we push it all the way to the left so we have this much space here. What do you think? Is it gonna get cold tonight? Like last time? A little bit. I think we still need to use our mummy sleeping bags. Okay, so mummy sleeping bags on top of this air mattress plus the blankets. Yes. And <laughs> we should be good. Time <laughs> 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 to go inside the cocoon. You sandwich yourself because we don't have a sleeping bag liner, so we're going to do it yourself. <laughs> Wrap yourself like a burrito and then go inside. So, the plan tomorrow is to wake up early so we can catch the sunrise at Alice Lake. It's gonna be a little tricky because now that it's spring, it's starting to become lighter earlier. So I think we're gonna have to wake up earlier. So what time is that? Six. Oh, <laughs> it's too early. I think it's worth mentioning. From the two campings that we've been, this is the only campground that we got internet service. I think it's because it's close enough to the city of Squamish, so we're getting the service from there. Good night. Morning guys, day two here in Alts Lake. What a way to wake up. I basically got woken up by 50 different birds above me. Not sure if you guys can hear it, but it's pretty loud. This is nature's alarm. This is probably one of the top things that I really love about camping is getting woken up like this. are so loud, eh? Yeah. <laughs> There's got a lot of different birds. birds. <laughs> Oh, it's 
seems that they have like a bike park here. Good to know. <laughs> I pretty much have a lot of things here in Alice Lake. Yesterday we saw rentals for canoes, kayaks, and now we have we saw a bike park. So I think this is for their day use area. You can see that there's a lot of picnic tables. And it's nice because it's just by the water. That's a blue jay. I think this is the first time I'm seeing a, a blue jay for real in real life. Oh, it's color blue. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, look at that mirror effect, eh? It's so nice! There's an eagle! This is one of the sceneries that you won't get when you don't camp overnight. It's awesome that the blue sky is reflecting on the water, giving you that mirror effect. So this is kind of the rental area that we were talking to you about. It looks like they have canoes, they have kayaks on there, and the hours is from 10 to 6, and it's called Alice Lake Paddle Sports, and it's just right by the lake. Sandcastles in summer, falling leaves in fall. Sunshine in the springtime, the winter's worst of all. The stillness at a red light in a mannequin's grace. In the eyes of a thousand strangers, I look the other way. But you. So far, we've seen bald eagles, blue jays, ducks, and Canadian geese. I think we should just stick with birds and squirrels. Coffee for us today, just had chocolates. For today's breakfast, we're trying something new and we saw this on YouTube. It's called breakfast hash and foil pockets. The idea is you put all the ingredients inside the foil, wrap it, and put it in the fire. Is that how it looks? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it got a little bit sticky because we missed the oil. One essential part of cooking. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna start heading out. Thank you guys for joining us today and it's just nice to be back after a two-week break. We really appreciate all the camping suggestions so keep them coming in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Where we are gonna be visiting <laughs> You're right there,
the best grass. <laughs> Where's the leg?